Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make self-watering pot for plant. You know, when you're going on holiday for maybe two, three days or maybe one week, your plants are going to be dry and they don't have enough water. So today I am going to show you how to make from cheap plastic bottle, probably you have some bottles at home, self-watering pot for plant. So let's start making it. I don't need this. I like this bowl shaped side. There is another shape of bottle. So you can use whatever you want. You can use any type of bottle you like. You will see how to do it. So I will use this side as bottom for water this side for plant. So let's mark somewhere here. Now I will cut it. And now to make it nicer. Now I have something like this. Okay. And now I will cut to sit because here will be more water for watering. So somewhere here to cut. Nice, I will make it better. Okay, and now this should be sitting here. Here will be space for water, but this is going down. So, just to make sure that this won't fall down, I will make something like support from this part. Yeah, that's great. It won't fall down. Now here will be sitting plant and soil and from the bottom when here will be water I need to get water to go up somehow. So best way how you can do it is, for example, I can show you idea behind this. Here is water and I will demonstrate it on this kitchen towel, kitchen paper towel. So when you will put this to the water, you can see water is going up. Yeah, as you can see, maybe you can't see properly. I'm gonna zoom in. See, water is going up. Okay, so that's the idea. I already tried some papers, but it's not very good because after some time, paper is going to be fell away and it's not working very good. So I was thinking about another material what I can use to do this. So I have found where is it? I have found my old sock. It's still not very bad but here is little hole so I'm not going to use it anymore. As you can see. But it should be quite good. So I'm going to try to do the same as I tried with paper. And just look. Water is going all the way up alone. So it's going to self-water the plant.
And that's about it. That's the idea. It's going to self-water itself. I am going to cut it somewhere here. This over here. And I will just put it through the hole. It should be sitting on the bottom. Yeah, that's good. And this is good. One side. Yeah, I think it will be fine. Now. I will bring some soil, some seed, and you will see how it's growing. Let's do it. So, here I, I have some soil. I'm going to put some more water, a little bit more, more water. Now it's better. And to show you how it's working, I will put some wheat seed, or how it's called. Whatever it is, that's enough. I will put it and cover with a little bit of soil. Okay. First time I'm going to water it from top, just to make sure that all soil is wet and everything is Everything is good. You can see in the moment water will come through down. Okay, that's good. And now I'm going to put more water down here. put a little bit more and that should be enough water for I don't know one or two weeks so I will see how it will grow and I will I will show you updates uh, how it grows Just one more thing, just for you to see what's the difference between usual pot and usual system. I'm going to plant a couple of seeds as well in here. And again, I'll water it through. So you can see, or at least with my update, you will see what's the difference between watering period of this usual type of pot or on this self-watering pot. So I'm going to put it outside on my balcony and you will see what's the difference. For now that's all, have a nice day and I hope you like my idea. If you like, you can try it by yourself, it's very easy, you can use any other type of bottle or whatever you want and you can post your comments down below the video and we will see uh, what results you will, you will cut. So have a nice day!